it's day 14 and the last episode hopefully of the mandatory quarantine show so last night we had a very very large thunderstorm in the Niagara region and uh, my wife this morning basically said to me oh did you did you were you not woken up by the thunder and lightning and everything and I was like no just slept <laughs> right through it slept till about 10 a.m. this morning actually so resting up I guess for tomorrow when we're finally able to head out that's meeting with her mother and I'm meeting with my parents uh, later in the day and we're gonna have the rental car to, as of tomorrow so we'll be able to go out and explore a bit more even inside of the relatively locked down Ontario area so everything going well no symptoms nothing to report to nobody I haven't received a, a call at all today from any government agencies so I guess they assume okay you know when you're supposed to leave I don't know but uh, we're probably gonna go and take a walk tomorrow morning get out and get out of the little area here um, probably also once this is over I'll, I'll take everybody on a bit of a view of downtown Niagara-on-the-Lake which you've probably heard now the cenotaph a few times the clock tower in the middle of town and uh, you know it's a little bit more places to go and see other than inside of the gazebo Beth was also saying that she was seeing a hawk out this morning in their area there's a bunch of starlings fighting against it so you know life goes on as it as it normally does in the area and that is really about it we are pretty much to the point where we're going to be at liberty so if you've watched all of 14 episodes of this thank you for joining me on the journey that is mandatory quarantine and i hope you learned something through uh my talks about some of the history of quarantines and what happened and the best part of this is tomorrow it's going to count as putting the white cross on the house right so early on in the quarantine you paint the red cross on the front of the house to say it's got plague victims inside tomorrow we get to do the opposite of that which is you mark a white cross over it to say that it's uh, now safe again so luckily no no COVID it seems or at least asymptomatic COVID taking my vitamin D Beth's taking her vitamin D everybody around me's taking their vitamin D that I can you know show the studies to in that keeping up the social distance keeping up the mask not going places if it's not you know necessary or required and uh, that's about it and hopefully we will get to Christmas and be able to you know see everybody for for that here um i guess the other only other news is just that it seems like my flight back to russia there's some issues with that but that's that's a problem for another day that's a problem for january and we'll have the i guess the next version of this the returning to russia show i don't know but uh please stay safe and wash your hands.